Ooh. It's like I wash my hair and then it just gets greasy and disgusting. I look like a lion right now. Right here, I hate myself. <laughs> you know what is, what's the most awkward thing is saying, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like that to me, it makes me want to vomit in my own hand and then lick it off. Just like vomit in a cup and then take a shot like it's green juice. I'm in the middle of nowhere, at the desert, which has honestly become one of my favorite places on the planet. And I'm really excited to show you all the fun things that I'm gonna do because look how bougie I am. You know you're bougie as shit when you've got one of these. I don't know how to do it, but we're gonna do it. What else can I say, where am I? Joshua Tree, California. Oh yes, I'm in Cali, I'm in Cali y'all. I'm Cali. No, I'm not kidding though. We found the most aesthetically pleasing Airbnb on the planet. Obviously, I'm gonna show you now. And yes, of course, I brought my Oatly oat milk from Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way to Joshua Tree, California. Just like cakes. Okay, so obviously I took this hat off of the wall decor, okay? okay? We spent the day in the desert and now we are gonna do a photo shoot. And I want you to come with the watch. Oh. It is so hot. Um, okay, outfit change. Actually, no. Actually, let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about modeling. Let's just talk, let's just chat about it. So I am 5'11 and a half. I tell people that I'm six feet because it's easier, okay? I grew like six inches in one year. Uh, yep. And of course it was in like prime time middle school year when everybody's like already awkward, already weird, and here I am like jack in the beanstalk, like stomping around, like lanky, sweating, confused. It was rough. It was a rough time. If I had a dollar for any time someone has seen me in a grocery store, seen me in a public place, it has been like, <gasps> oh, like what sport do you play? Uh, I have very limited coordination. I'm like lucky that I can dance and find a beat, but other than that, give me a basketball. No fucking way. So I'm like, I'm gonna model. I'm gonna do stuff like that. Done it here and there, and then all of a sudden, you know, Instagram took off, and I'm like, oh, what's good? Like, let me be an Instagram model. I don't know. At least some of my close friends who have never modeled before have always been like, how do you do it? Like, blah, blah, blah. you wanna know how I do it? I take 560 photos in one outfit. And there has to be at least one good one. Like, that's the cheat codes, right? Like, I mean, maybe not. Like, professional models, like, I don't know. Maybe you have, like, your shit together and you know where to do this and where to do this and where to do this. I just... 
until one looks good. Bam. Like one out of 500 and a million. You know what I mean? Like you try it. There's going to be one good one. Anyway, it's fun. I feel like I transform a little bit in front of the camera. You know, and I'm like, oh, like, okay, here's all my confidence. And then real life happens and I'm like depressed and weird and insecure. But like that tis life. Tis life. So we're gonna change, we're gonna change outfits. We're gonna go and we're gonna adventure around and then we're gonna try some things on and then hopefully, out of the million pictures that I take, there's gonna be some cute ones, so. Okay, this is outfit number two. I don't think you can see it and I can't, I can't lift up my leg, but this is outfit number two. What up, Zoffel? My one out of four things that I got from Zoffel. And then I've had this skirt from Forever 21 literally since like freshman year in college, so. I swear, like sweat's just a natural freaking highlighter. Okay, I mean the last outfit. Now, this is the thing. I used to own these pants, right? Okay, and I used to own, I stole them from a friend. If you're watching this, I'm really sorry I still have your jeans from like seven years ago, but your jeans are actually no longer jeans. I've cut them into shorts because they ripped. They're just simply, they're shorts that you cannot wear every day. And this is the reason why. I literally cannot, zip them. I cannot breathe. I feel like Elizabeth in Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're gonna go take this ass picture because these shorts are only made for your ass. I'm so hot. Okay, last outfit. Here we go. All right. It's all about that ass. Oh my God, it's Kayshawn. I want to thank everybody who has been keeping up with my videos and all of the support. I have always wanted to start a YouTube channel, which is why I did it. I think it took me about five years to actually get enough balls to do it. This is the thing. Modeling for me is an outlet. Modeling for me is a way to express myself. It's a way to feel more confident. It's a way to feel more in my skin. I may go into this in another video, but I have suffered from an eating disorder for honestly as long as I can remember. I've been bulimic, I've been anorexic, I have, I believe that I've been orthorexic, I believe that I still am kind of orthorexic. If you do not know what that is, that's when you have this insane obsession with eating healthy food. And I also believe that I have been addicted to exercise at one point. So I will be more than happy to dive into that in another more vulnerable YouTube setting. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is that I suffer with body dysmorphia and modeling makes me feel confident and modeling makes me feel like I have put in a lot of work over the past couple of years to love the skin that I am in and I'm constantly still growing, constantly still trying to be proud of the changes in my body. I think that's the hardest thing as well, especially getting older, my mid to late 20s, mid to late 20s. Let me just... The reason why I'm talking about this is because I encourage you. If you know me in real life, reach out, message me, let's go, let's do a fucking photo shoot. Dress up and be goofy and be fun, because I swear, at least for me in my personal journey, it has been a tool to love the skin that I am in. And if not, like who gives a fuck? Just like take pictures by yourself. Take pictures at different times during the day, in different settings, in different outfits that you never think that you would wear in real life. Y'all, I would never wear any of those outfits in real life, are you kidding me? One, because I just wear, freaking leggings all the time, but regardless, it's a moment where I feel like I can celebrate who I am. So on that note, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I'm going to enjoy the desert. I love California. Joshua Tree is honestly stunning. I'm gonna link the Airbnb that I personally stayed in below. So please, if you want to just have a little vacation, treat yourself, get out, do something. Go and, and check out. I mean, I've barely been on my phone. There's no TV here. Everyone is a little... 
you know, but who gives a fuck to say go and do something. I'm gonna take a bath, I'm gonna drink some wine, I'm gonna make some food, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this trip. So please subscribe below if you wanna see more videos like this. Again, let me know. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you hate it. That's fine, I get it. Cheers to you, cheers to me, cheers to love, cheers to your body, cheers to loving yourself, cheers to loving the skin that you're in, cheers to loving vacation, cheers to loving the goodness in quarantine, cheers to loving this break for your body, your mind, your soul, and your spirit. Cheers to trusting for the future. Cheers to friendships. Cheers to love. Cheers to family. And cheers to your animals. Okay? All you cat people out there. We know what's up. We know what's up. Okay, bye!